Hi everyone, welcome you all. So today we are going to discuss question paper of outside Delhi 2019 computer science. And in this question paper also we are going to discuss question number seven. Okay, that is completely related to networking concept. And this is equally benefited uh, for information practices student as well as computer science. That's why we are going to discuss on the question number seven. Okay, so let's get started. So first question is, Damodar Mohan has informed that there had been a backdoor entry to his computer, which has provided access to his system through a malicious user oblique programs, allowing confidential and personal information to be subjected to theft. He Oh, sorry, it happened because he clicked the link provided in one of the pop-ups from a website announcing him to be winner of prize worth rupees one million dollar. Which of the following has caused this out of the following? Okay, so virus, worms, or the origin horses. Also mention which what he should do to prevent this infection. And this is of obviously two marks. So if you look at this question, you should be aware about what are virus, worms and origin horses, right? Actually, its answer is virus or it may be origin horses. Worms generally do not do such kind of activities. These can consume the bandwidth or simply harm the resources, but uh, do not send confidential information from one computer to another right and how we can prevent this by use of antiviruses and installing of firewalls right uh, now whenever we are looking at the questions right what should be our aim we should not stick to the questions only we should be looking to cover more information or more definitions or we should be broaden our scope. So what we are going to do, we are going to see what is the difference between virus and worms, right? First, and then we will look into what are origin horses. So what are viruses? Viruses are the programs which are replicated by the human interactions through our executable files they are they they are not a standalone programs or standalone programs actually they infect some executable files and when a person or a user executes those executable files then virus is executed and perform malicious activities and may replicate or destroy or send information or do any kind of malicious activity right and when we compare it with the worms worms are the self executable or you can say that they are the standalone executable files which may be replicated without human instructions human interactions and consume bandwidth or harm resources if this is the simple definition definition of forms now to clearly understand we should move to our uh, website uh, techdifferences.com here it there are some of the key differences where one of the most important is last uh, one that is seventh let us go one by one and then we will discuss seventh one okay worms uses computer network to spread itself while viruses spread to different systems through executable files so now you can see network and computer system itself executable files okay spreading speed of a worms is faster than the virus the virus tends to change destroy or alter the files of a targeted computer whereas worm do not modify any file but aims to harm the resources okay so it main purpose of worms is to harm the resources it do not destroy or alter any files but virus can do it 
the virus needs human action to replicate whereas worm doesn't does it not and the fifth one is worms are independent file that exist within the memory of an infected computer whereas virus are executable files or attach themselves to other executable files to operate right this is also one of the key differences and the sixth one is the virus need host to spread while worms do not require any host that means worms are standalone files and the seventh and one of the important thing is virus corrupts or modify the data on the targeted computer whereas worms harm the network by consuming the bandwidth deleting files or sending emails right so any of the difference can be written when it is asked by the board okay hopefully you can do it now coming to the definition what is torogen horses okay torogen horses are the virus obviously these are also considered to be a virus or a kind of a malicious code or a program also called the trojan uh, which is a malware which appears to be the legitimate or appropriate software just like um, asked in the question it, it says that um, uh, wait a minute let me read this malicious user program on confidential information telephone to be given. okay uh, here now from here to here it happened because he clicked a link provided in one of the pop-ups from the from a website announcing him to be a winner of a prize worth one million dollar so here it claims to be a useful thing and then it opened a back door right so it is a similar kind of activity which is performed by the torogen horses that's why it can be a torogen horses uh, but why this is also a correct answer so wait a minute mm. so now let us read this one now it is a malware which appears to be a legitimate or a appropriate software and used by attackers to compromise the security of the system and that's what exactly happening in our question so the most appropriate answer will be a trojan horses there are several things that a trojan can do and one of its important feature is it remains in the user system security and does not let them find it okay this is one of the peculiar feature till the time it is residing in the system it can get the entire access of the system to the malicious user or the hacker and then uh, they will be able to do everything that an estimate user can do reading the critical files sending them to other systems accessing the confidential data and so on are few breaches that one can do after installing the Trojan horse virus in the organization or enterprise system right now you can note down this website name www.educba.com what is storage and horses you don't have to do that okay you can simply remove it and go to this website and see the uh, list of topics mentioned here there are many important articles given in this website so my recommendation is please do visit this and spend some time read this especially what is dos attack or denial of service attack type of dos attacks is really very important different type of attacks are also given what is phishing cyber attack is also there many many uh, topics which are included in your uh, syllabus are given please do read these topics and get back it also gives you insight of our protocols what is dhcp especially tcp tcp ip smtp so many important topics which are mentioned in your syllabus are also mentioned here so please do visit this website and you can make prepare notes from this okay so now coming to our next question before coming to this next question see how i have 
broaden the scope of this question if i am solving this uh, question paper and if i stick to only the correct answer then i will be getting very limited answer or my knowledge will be very limited now what our aim is to broaden our uh, knowledge from the question so that it can give more information to us and is more fruitful in solving other question papers too so here by simply solving one question we uh, came to know what are viruses what are worms what are torsion horses and in now we will be able to write the definition of all these threes we will be able to differentiate from each other and we may solve other um, such type of questions uh, with these right so this should be our intention when we are solving or when we are practicing a question paper right now coming to the b part Rani Vadwa is in India and she is interested in communicating with her uncle in Australia. She wants to show one of her own design gadget to him and also want to demonstrate its working without physically going to Australia. Which protocol out of the following will be ideal for the same? POP3 is definitely used to send emails. SMTP is also used to send the mail. VOIP is to uh, perform as voice over internet protocols. So basically, this will be our choice. And the third and fourth one is HTTP, which is peculiarly used to transfer websites, web pages, or you can say that. Right? So the answer will be VOIP. But if we talk about HTTP, HTTP can be used nowadays since if you open um, YouTube, you can you can upload a you know, video and obviously you can demonstrate it. So VoIP is the correct option, Pref means preferred one. But if you write a HTTP, then also it is um, equally good option. You can say that. Okay, now. Obviously, you will say, sir, we will we can send the information with the help of an email also. So, obviously, this is also a correct answer, but most appropriate answer will be VOIP, right? Now, uh, coming to our question number C part, that is 7C part, give two difference between 3G and 4G telecom communication, right? So, obviously, first and, first and most important thing is uh, 3G, uh, the speed is very limited. We get higher speed in 4G uh, connections. All right, and 3G is voice plus data, but 4 is uh, data with voice overriding, right? So, these are the some of the difference between 3G and 4G. Obviously, we are getting a higher bandwidth than uh, 3G and 4G, right? And many other technical, like uh, we are using a LTE version of a HSDCP DPA, while we are using simply HSDPA or um, same uh, such kind of a technology here only. Okay, now coming to the D, D part. Write the expanded name for the following abbreviated terms used in networking and communication. Right? MBPS is megabit per second. WAN is wireless area network, oh sorry, wide area network. Cold division multiple access, wireless local loop is the answer. Uh, you can find many other full forms related to this. I have already discussed in my previous videos. Now coming to the question number E part that you have to do it yourself. I will be sending uh, this question paper along with the video. So you have to do it and come with the answer next day. That is tomorrow. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.